If you've released a song using DistroKid only to realize that there's a problem with your audio file, all is not lost. In this video, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to change out your audio on your release. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. Now, if you've released a song using DistroKid only to realize that there's something about that audio file that wasn't right or that you're not happy with, what can you do? Well, let's cut straight to the chase. We can't actually edit the audio file with the release to stores. We do need to remove it from stores and then re-upload it. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is part one, where we're going to show you how to remove a song and request it to be removed from all of the stores and streaming platforms. We're then going to come back in part two and show you what we then need to do to get it re-uploaded with the fresh audio file. So let's jump in and get started. So I've logged into DistroKid and here are all of my releases. Now the one that I have a problem here is this one. Hold on, the single that I released for my Song Timber project is the one that has the master file that has this little pop at the very start. So if we click on this one, it'll bring us into our release here. There's my album artwork. If we scroll on down, we can see all of the different things that we can do. Now you might think, you might get excited here and think, oh, edit release, that's what I wanna do, yeah? Let's see what options we have there if we click on edit release. What we can actually edit is, uh, the artist band name, nope, we can't change that. Record label, we can change. Release date, if we got that wrong, if say we wanted to make that the 1st of September to backdate it, we can do that. Pre-order doesn't really make sense. We won't worry about that. We can update the album cover, and I'll be showing how we do that in a future video as well. And we can update the track title here and whether it has explicit lyrics. We can also update what we let the stores know about where we want to start the preview, which is this one here. We then submit that edit request and it goes off to the stores. Now I've showed that in a previous video, which I'll link up the top and in the description. But as you'll see here, this is the option that we need here if we want to do anything to the audio. Now, the reason we can't just upload a new audio file is what if someone loved a song, they had it in their collection and they had it in their playlists and then you remove that audio and you replace it with a completely different song. It's very difficult for the stores to detect that. So they just say, nope, once it's released, it's released. You want to replace it, you got to pull it down and put it back up. So that's what I'm going to show you that we can do in this video. Now, before we go ahead and hit that remove button, there's a couple of numbers that I want you to grab for your release, and this will help you with the second part. So what we wanna do is click on our single here, hold on, and if we scroll on down, there's a couple of numbers here that are important. Number one is this one here in the top right corner. This is your DistroKid UPC, Universal Product Code, I'm assuming it means. We wanna copy that one, make sure we have a copy of that for our song. The other one we want is this one here, the ISRC number, which we'll highlight here. We wanna make sure that we copy that one because when we re-release this song, we can use that to make sure it goes right back in to the same place that it was before. Because this is the same song, we want it to have the same details. So when we re-release it, we'll show you why it's important. But before we remove it, make sure you grab those two numbers, put them somewhere safe so that when you re-release, you're good to go. So we've copied those two, we've got them somewhere safe. We now need to come here and go to edit release within our single here, or the same works for an EP or an album. Here we go, that same edit release uh, options that we have here. We can scroll down to the bottom because the one we want is, yes, we want to remove it. Now keep in mind that if someone's downloaded this track, this is obviously not gonna go into their personal collection and do anything there. But if it is, if someone has it on a playlist or is streaming it, then that will actually be impacted. We get this giant message, and it couldn't be clearer that it's got a big exclamation mark. It's, it's orange, it could be red, that might make it slightly <laughs> more uh, confronting. But are you sure? Remove this release from all stores, are you sure? So let's do this, we're gonna click that one, and it's gonna say, please wait, and it said, if it's in stores already, allow two to five days to fully disappear. And we've got a big deleted up here. We're gonna click on okay. And that is all there is to it. It has disappeared, it is gone, it is no longer there. Now, the good practice here is to wait that little bit of time and check the stores before we do part two. You could essentially go back in here and redo it, but if it gets to the point where the stores are getting the new submission before they get the removal, that could cause some significant challenges and you probably don't want to go down that track. So this is the way that I suggest is we're now going to wait and then I'm going to come back and we'll do part two in the second video. 
So yes, a very simple process, but I wanted to make it clear that you can't edit the audio, you do need to remove it from stores and to make sure you grab that ISRC and UPC number before you go ahead and do that. Join me for part two, or if you're in the future, check the description, it may already be available. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.